My name is Masaki Tanzawa. And today I'm talking about uh, capital gain and income gain in the property investment in Japan. Needless to say, you all know quite well that uh, speculation and investment is different. Property purchases in Japan is just fit with the investment angle. In particular, targeting Tokyo is an appropriate approach as a property investment. So let's view investment cases in Tokyo aiming at uh, capital gain or income gain. As uh, I previously mentioned, anticipating sufficient capital gain from investment in Tokyo, well, is rather rare. Okay, let's get started. Official land price reportedly went down. In fact, in fact, you might have found the latest news that they reported the official land price announced recently shows a decrease in Tokyo for the first time in eight years. Everyone simply could analyze it as a caused by the this is caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. And it is a natural flow worldwide. Downturn in demand for the commercial sector mainly causes a land price decline, I think. Well, then how does this fall, fall affect property investment in Japan? The decrease in the official land price may lower the market price as well. You may see the lowered market price leads to prospects of a gain on sale in future in terms of a capital gain purpose. My view is uh, different from this. According to the line graph, especially the affordable price is seen remarkably in the commercial area because an increase of a cessation of a business or shop close due to the pandemic led to turn down the hole. However, the degree of decline is not so much in the residential area. Actually, the rate of decline in the re residential area was 0.6%. Uh, that in the commercial area was 1.9%. Uh, so I do not presume the decrease of a market price will happen remarkably in the housing market. Anyway, which is uh, better to pursue the capital gain uh, or the income gain in Japan? Indeed, it may be possible to foresee a uh, capital gain utilizing a slight, slight balance between the market price lowered and the future price restored in several excellent properties. But it will be so hard to find such a promising property, property profitable enough. And it has to be a high risk challenge if it is in, an, in the short term. You need additionally to note the capital gain tax comes to be in a higher in case of a selling within the five years after purchase. Anyway, the market price of a property in Tokyo is a slowly rising, but it is totally unforeseeable in the property market to show really violent fluctuations any longer. On the other hand, if you look at this status by changing view, there is a bad chance of expectation of a mid or a long term income gain. And you can obtain a stable core asset from a long term perspective. Assuming that the retail price is a decrease from the standardized price, then you could get a little better deal than usual. And consequently, you can expect slightly higher return than before, and the rent may not go down as well.
By the way, then, what type of a property is better to buy for aiming at a steady income gain? For the purpose of income gain in property investment, you would in general rent out your property to earn a monthly rent. In this case, it is recommended to own a residence such as a unit of condominium or a house and a building of an apartment. Buying and owning a property of a residence will be also rather easy to handle if you will consider to proceed applying for a business manager visa in Japan by business operation. That I told before in my previous post. And Tokyo is a place which is a suitable for pursuing a steady rental business. This is also what I told in my previous post. Well, on a different note, what about the logistics sectors to invest? Some of them may think this is a better situation. Well, it's not, it is not a bad idea to buy the commercial properties such as offices, industrial land, and the logis logistics space. Indeed, the investment in these facilities is a kind of trend, particularly in the logistic area since the worldwide pandemics induced demand for distribution due to online shopping used more than ever, like Amazon. In my view, the logistics sector is not so steady as it's a pop this popularity, I think might be a temporary and it is a riskier than the res residential sector because it's Investment, investment amount becomes large. But I will take up the logistic investment in Japan as a late, uh, later on as a seminar theme. Well, please refer to my other blogs about the return of investment for detailed information on the rental management and the why Tokyo is appropriate. Please feel free to contact me if you have any inquiry. Thank you for watching. So see you soon next. Bye, thank you.